Okay, it's just a basic little thing to show you how to install a game that if you like reformat your computer or something and it won't install because there's registry data left, but there isn't uh but like there's no there's no game files in the main game folder, but it still won't let you install it and it won't let you uninstall it. It just ha it comes up with the autoplay thing off the disc like this. And it's like if you click play it doesn't do anything and if you click uninstall it doesn't do anything. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the start menu and go up to my computer. This is for Windows, obviously. By the way, Rome Total War is just an example. Then go to your uh, to your CD-ROM drive. In the first thing, it's the one that should have the picture from the game on it, and it's the CD-ROM drive. It's on my computer. I think it's Drive E or Drive G or something. And then uh, right-click on it. Don't double-click on it because I'll just bring up the autoplay again. Don't click autoplay because I'll bring up the autoplay thing again. It won't work. Go to Open instead. Okay, this will bring up what the contents on the disk, just the data. And then what what, what you're going to want to click on is it should be in the main one but might not be it, it depends. Just look around the folder. It might be in a folder called setup or something. Like see, this is the main setup thing, but it says it usually comes up with a warning that says, "Oh, you can't install it using the setup. You have to use the other setup thing." And then right below it there's something called it says use setup.exe. And then there's something below it that's just called setup in this folder. And then if you double click on that, it'll start up the install shield and let you install the game. But I recommend that you like uh, name it the file name a little bit different just in case, you know, like, for instance, this one goes in a folder called Activision. I just made it go into a folder called Activisions. So then, uh, and then it worked perfectly and the game ran fine.